Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name's Elaine. I'm the owner of what? LBE. Alright y'all, so I'm going to try to put in as many videos as I possibly can. Um, there will not be a lot. Um, everybody's feeling the pressure. <laughs> And for those of y'all who are fortunate enough to have help, God bless you, okay? Whew, bless me, Jesus, because uh, I need them every hour, every minute, every second. At this point, um, I have got to get the rest of these Mother's Day gifts out. And I have a very large graduation order that has to go out as well two days after Mother's Day. And I refuse to make those baskets after Mother's Day. <laughs> So therefore, we are going to get them done as well as finish up Mother's Day in these last three weeks. Along with everything else that's going on in our life. Um, for those of y'all who attend church or whatever, um, some of y'all know that there's like a lot of past installations going on. Well, we got one. Four days. Starting Thursday of next week. Uh, so, my evenings will be occupied <laughs> singing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, y'all pray for your girl. Because Saturday we have to go be there at... Uh, it starts at 10 a.m. Uh, and then Sunday, of course, service starts at 10 a.m. So I have a lot of hours in the day that's not going to be occupied with baskets. So anywho, um, I think I am done with all my catering gigs up until probably close to after Father's Day, I believe. I don't think I have anything lined up. Um, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I can help her only when I can help her, okay? Uh, but anywho, I want to come ahead and talk to you guys about these baskets because I'm getting a lot of questions. And I kind of want to answer them, you know. Um, anytime I get like a large variety of the same questions, I just want to make a video and answer the questions um, so that everybody's aware. Uh, so, in these baskets, I just kept it simple. Um, I have a lot of robes and I'm still working through some of the robes. Um, but I also have quite a bit of, well, I don't have quite a bit, but I have a few towels and whatever. And I completely forgot about my Dr. Teals, y'all. I forgot I even bought them. Uh, cause I've been so busy trying to get the body colleges done. I got all the, I got all of the, uh, Bath and Body Works ones done. Um, and then I just make, making like random gifts and stuff like that. And also on the mug gifts, um, a, f a couple of y'all told me, was trying to advise me that those were, uh, tanning lotions or whatever. I already knew that. That's why I made them small gifts. Um, because some are going to sell and some are not. Um, and so instead of putting them in larger gifts, it's easier to make them small gifts. And then people can buy them as, you know, as they want to. Um, and then I can just store the rest of them away for another time to put them out for sale. Um, so I am aware that I do read the back of the products before I purchase them. Um, so like when I was at Pop Shelf shopping, I didn't pick up everything. I read stuff. I smelt a lot. And if it stunk, it stayed there. If it was something I didn't know what it was or I didn't know how I was going to put it in the concept, I left it there. Um, so yeah, I, I, I pay attention when I'm shopping because some of that stuff I did not know what it was. Especially all that facial stuff. All of it left on the shelf. Uh, the makeup, all of it left on the shelf. Now, I know about makeup, but I don't, I'm not a, you know, makeup artist or nothing like that. But I know um, from previous experience in my business, makeup is a no-no. Um, because, I mean, you just don't know people's shades, colors, or nothing. And that pertains to lipstick, all that good stuff. So, I just left it all there. Um, shampoo and conditioners, left those there only because they didn't have the complete sets. Because uh, I've sold sam shampoo and conditioner sets before and people, they flew. Um, but they didn't have the complete sets of the ones I wanted, so I left all those there. Um, so anyway, just want to put that pointer out there about the mugs. I know what type of lotion it is. I grouped them two together specifically for that reason, and the only reason why I use the mugs is because it color coordinated. So yeah, <laughs> I got it. Um, going back to these, I completely forgot about my Dr. Teal, so I started pulling them out, um, and putting, of course, the matches with, e with each other, because I matched up quite a bit of these that I got on clearance with, uh, the salt with the foaming bath. Um, so this is one particular one here, and, uh, the jar that I use, um, because a lot of people are asking about this, are the candy jars with the lids that come from the Dollar Tree. These are the small ones. They have a small one and they have a big one. Big one's about it's pretty big um but they have these small ones and um i was able to find them at one of my local it ain't even a local story i was in like 30 minutes 30 45 minutes away from the house um but i decided to stop into that dollar tree and i long behold i found them and it just rung in my head bath salts jaw put it together uh <laughs> so i picked up enough just for my bath salts um and uh again these were at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 um I can't tell you they they don't they not at every store. I've been to several stores and have not seen these. Um, I used to see them back in the day, but I think sometimes every time you look for something, you never find it. But when you're not looking for it, it's there. 
I don't know if it's just me or is it everybody. But anywho, lo and behold, I was able to find some. Um, and I picked up enough just for the gift sets. Now, my scoops, you can get the scoops that come um, from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just thought it was a little bit less expensive for me to just order some off of Amazon. Because I'm always using bath salts. So I'm like, I might as well just get me a, a bag of them and be done with it. And it's cheaper than $1.25 a piece. Um, so I ended up getting these little wooden scoops. And I just like the aesthetics of these. It makes it look more like uh relaxation vibes because you're using the wood versus like the plastic one but no offense to the ones that use the plastic and no offense to the plastic ones i just like the whole vibe of these um and so i end up finding these and plus you know with epsom salt you don't pull the whole bag in there so <laughs> well i mean i don't but i don't know how everybody else do theirs um but yeah i just wanted to make it like look you know look like aromatherapy type vibe with the wooden uh um the wooden, uh, uh, whatever these things is called. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Um, and then for the, uh, Dr. Teal sets that come like with the color or whatever, like a pinkish or more burgundy or whatever color this is. Um, I decided to use, uh, my Mother's Day tissue paper. Y'all forgot I even had this. Uh, I have quite a bit of these that I got at Walmart at some point in my life for like 30 cents a piece. Um, so I grabbed one of these to put a tissue paper inside of it. I stuck a tissue paper in them because I didn't want them to just be super clear. I wanted them to have some type of vibe going on with them as well. Um, so I'm going to bring this in just a little bit so y'all can kind of see. Um, so as you can see, I stuck that paper in there. And you can't really tell it says Happy Mother's Day. All you can tell is like pink and white. So I just left it alone. Uh, and then with the towel sets, I have the full towel, the hand towel, and the washcloth. The washcloth I made into a fan just by folding it in and out. And then I let that part fan and I tie it off the bottom with some fishnet. Um, and then just stuck that in there like that. Honey, just trying to give this a little, little design here. Um, for the lid that comes with the, um, the candy jar, I attached the... I don't know if you know these scoops have like little holes in them i don't know if y'all can see they're not waiting on the camera to kind of zoom in but it's got little holes in it and i ran some fish line through there and i attached it to the lid of the um the jar and then i separated it because i needed something extra to go in here and i didn't want to add 12 million products so i decided to attach it to the lid and then put the lid right in front of the um the bath salts so it kind of gives that whole little vibe right there and then once you flip it around you have, of course, my little shower loop. It's just going to be loose until I, uh, it's tied on there, so it's not going to go nowhere. But it's just loose down here until I put some plastic on this thing, put this thing in a bag and call it a day. Um, but I added the uh, foaming bath on the other side. And as you can see, I crossed them because they're both heavy as crap. These things are full-size bottles and full-size bags. These are not the miniature bags. These are the large bags. Um, so I got the large bag of Epsom salt on this side and then I put the foaming bath on that side so that the basket don't do a whole lot of wobbling and weaving and, and falling over. Y'all get what I'm flowing? Make it flow to where your baskets don't go tipping over. Because <laughs> this basket got some weight to it because of those two items. Um, and then on this side, since I was going to put a plant right here, I made sure the bow that I tied around the towel. And I have to tie the towels. I mean, I put... Um, a piece of board in there and the board that I put inside of these are the ones that came out of my robes I just took that I saved those and Used them in the towel. So I put the board in there and then fold the towel around and then I just tied it off Y'all know how I tie my little my little crisscross tie and I used a satin ribbon that came from Hobby Lobby for 74 cent um, And I tied it around there and then I tied something around the hand towel and of course I attached the hand towel uh, to the uh, the larger towel with of course the fish line um and then i just set the plant in the middle just to give it that whole aesthetics vibe um and let it flow and that is pretty much how i did this one and i'm gonna show you guys the uh the blue one real quick this is the one i showed you guys on the short video if i can move these out of the way without making a mess all right, y'all, so here is the blue one. I matched the blue, um, the Refresh and Revitalize. The other one was pom uh, Pomegranate and Black Current and Essential Oils. And this one is Refresh and Revitalize Organic Superfoods and Essential Oils. Um, I matched it with um, this. All of my plants came from uh, Dollar General on the penny sale. 
I waited until they went to Penny because it was one store I knew had a lot of them. And I, they did. I filled up a whole tub full of them. Um, and I got all those for a penny. But the towel I matched with it was the gray towel set. And I put um, this silver satin ribbon. Again, came from Hobby Lobby on the ribbon sale. Um, and I tied it around just like I tie any other. Um, but this time I added in the long loofah to this one. Um, and the reason why I did that blue is because that baby blue is in the color of um, the bath salts and the foaming bath. And as you wrap it around here, I just put white tissue paper in this one because the red just didn't flow or the pink just didn't flow with this because it's a whole blue and white and gray vibe. Um, so again, got the lid here with the scoop on it. And then you have the uh, super large bag of Epsom salt Dr. Teal's. Um, and then, of course, again, put the hand, the washcloth in here with a, like a little fan or whatever and stuck that in there. And this is the blue and white one. So this is the one I showed you guys on the other video. Um, these were really simple to put together. I have 10 of these. Um, now, some of them I didn't put towels in because I ran out of the towels. And I ain't going to buy no more. So I stuck some robes in those. <laughs> um, but... Other than that, I have 10 of these. I'm about to put these in the bag. They're going in my 32 by 40 bags. Um, of course, I have to roll the sides, but other than that, it fits in there perfectly. And um, we're going to get these downstairs with the rest of the gifts um, so I can keep this train rolling. Because I have... I've done a lot, but I still have a lot to go. Um, and I know I still have quite some time. I just got to make use of my time. So, uh, here's a video explaining this. Um, I am going to try to do several shorts to show you to keep you update to how I'm flowing but um there will not be a lot a lot of videos um because it is definitely crunch time and I know I have several days ahead of me that I will not be able to work as hard as I'm working now so with that said thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and we'll see y'all next video peace